I did all those end of the pier shows. I did the you know the TV shows in the in the eighties. So um, luckily, I I didn't do something like Bobby did. You know, they they were at a, a gig in Macclesfield and they did a, a a gag that was deemed to be racist, and it was seen by a journalist, and their career you know disappeared. It's thought provoking, and it's very of now. Danny mm. Robbins has written a a really interesting play and. Audiences are loving it. We're, yeah. we're selling out. We've, we've only got 10 days to go at the Park Theatre in Finsbury Park. Just but until, people should come and see yeah, it. Yeah, until the 11th of, yeah. of August, yeah. is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, and being back on stage is something you really love, actually. I love it. Isn't it? Yeah. I love it because, you know, um, in, in this play, you get kind of laugh out mo loud moments, but you also get pin drop silence. Mm -hmm. And I just enjoy that. And at the end, the audience are left absolutely kind of just wanting to applaud and go away and talk about it. Because it's not one of those plays you go, right, well, that was great, let's go for dinner. You want to talk and people are... We had a Q&A last night and people were just fascinated. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. actually properly asking you questions. He's sitting... And, and, and I sat there and went, that's Claire Sweeney in the audience. Oh. <laughs> but there's Bobby Crush. People, are, you know, of the generation that, you know, the, that had done all those clubs and theatres want to see it as well. So yes, you're got... clearly enjoying it again. It's, it's just, great. It's, it's the whites of the eyes of the audience again, yeah, absolutely. It? When you know, yeah. haven't done Corey and all of the, yeah. the telly yeah. stuff for a while, yeah. it's very, very it's nice. It's just to do nice it. to get out in front of an audience, yeah. Yeah, of course. I've got to also um, ask you just about this life changing health <laughs> kick that you had, Les, because you, you look fantastic and you went for it was blood tests at one point. Yeah, it, was, it was last year I, I did uh, the Adams Family tour and mm. I got f floored by bronchitis and then laryngitis and went for blood tests and found out that I was pre diabetic. Yeah. And then just, you know, I, the, the luck I, was amazing. The uh, sport relief came along and said, do you want to do this fitness program? Um, and, and I did it and, and, and dropped the weight. I just, I was watching that clip you had on of me and Corey Bet there before. I was like, oh, that Michael, <laughs> Michael was big then, <laughs> you know, that waistcoat. Oh, how yeah. much have you lost? I, I lost 20 pounds. Um, and, you know, um, I haven't been on scales lately. I might put a, a few back on, but, you know, I've kept it off, keep my walking going. You know, I'm really, really um, intent on keeping it off. And it's also made, you haven't had to take any of the medication no, doctors no. thought you might have had to. Absolutely, yeah. still in the cupboard there as a reminder, uh -huh. you know, that, that, that it was suggested that I took this medication and I haven't taken that. And, um, you know, I think, you know, for anybody of, of my age, I'm coming up to 65, you know, I would hope that I'm an example that you can do it with with just exercise and diet and, and just, you know, do it yourself instead of, of course. thinking that you have to take And having that. a bit of motivation as well, bit of you motivation. Say, the, the sport well, yeah, relief they, thing, when people they, are watching yeah, you, you when think people you are watching me, they, It's not as easy now, now that that, that, <laughs> that task is done. But, uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Also, you're delving into uh, the world of children's books. Yes, um, yes. I've, uh, I've, I've written... I, I did my autobiography and then um, uh, producers, FBS, came along and said, would you fancy doing this children's idea? And I, I already had an idea in my head. Sat in Costa, wrote it down, sent it to them, and we've got the illustrations ready and, and, and I'm, I'm thrilled with it. It's, a, it's all about kind of how if love can be measured in numbers, by numbers. Oh. So there's a little bit of maths there for, for children as well. It's a young children's book. You're a little one. Well, I say little, they're not so little yeah. anymore. No, but exactly. They, they must love well, the they, idea they, they will feature in it, the kind of younger version of them, Tom and Ellie. Oh. Maybe there'll be a series of Tom and Ellie books. Oh, how amazing yeah. would that be? So are you the champion sort of storyteller at night time now, though? Do you know what? <laughs> kind of when, when I take the kids up, and, and I love that, you know, um, as well as reading books, they enjoy me just sitting and telling them a story. And I, I just make them up, and, and then the next morning, I've forgotten them, and they're kind of like... Daddy, when this happened and the trampoline and that, and I was like, and, and then the hedgehog, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> They're still so, yeah, living I need, with I need to kind of write them down as soon as I've told them Fantastic. to them. Fantastic. Great to see you. It's uh, thank to you. See you. And enjoy the rest yeah. of the run as well. Yeah, come and see it because yeah, it's a great place. Park Theatre. Thank you.